Demon Eye, the 2019 horror film was definitely a lot better than I had gone into it. I did not expect much, especially for these types of films. You get a very basic plot, there isn't much in the way of storytelling or character development, and I was pleasantly surprised by this one. It, it's definitely a weird film in terms, for example, a young woman travels out to her father's cottage home shortly following his mysterious death where she encounters a wish-granting talisman which is cursed by a witch who had been murdered ages ago which works in conjunction with a demon of all, all things which, you know, demons aren't that bad. I don't think they are. And she quickly learns that Definitely the price to pay is a lot more than she had originally intended. She is a young lady who struggles with confidence issues and for an adult still engages in self-harming which is perfect for our demon fellow because he feeds off of pain. It's also a way of putting him off from attacking because once you've made your wish he comes asking for payment and Unbeknownst to her, that is one way that she managed to keep herself safe. One of the more odd plot points in the film happens to be she discovers that she has a half-brother, and I guess it's the fact that they haven't seen each other, maybe he's an attractive guy, but she uses said talisman to force him to have romantic feelings toward her because she obviously wants to, well, you know how that goes. She wants to breed with her brother. And there's definitely a fair amount of resistance. The plot hole towards the end of the film that just kind of gets on my nerves a little bit is they're pretty much being held, I guess, prisoner by some local townie who wants to regain possession of the talisman. He was a friend of her father and he is demanding to have it back. Through the middle of these scenes he discloses, hey, you guys are related. And she acts like she didn't know where in the one of the early scenes of the film he told her that he's her half-brother. So I don't know, forgetfulness out of convenience and I do not know what his issue was, but I don't know. Uh, incest? I don't know. It was a little weird, but I guess, that, what, what can you say? The dialogue isn't bad, decent lighting, pretty good acting. It was an enjoyable film. It was a lot better than I went in expecting it to be. I would definitely recommend checking this one out, especially if you're a fan of B-horror, then that's definitely one worth taking a look at. But that is pretty much all I have for you guys today, and I will talk to you later.